this is always my favorite spot to film at my parents' house. But it's Saturday, I've had a nice relaxing morning, um, making breakfast, going to the gym. I actually just made some lunch and I've just been hanging out here. Until later on, I'm gonna hang out with my family and we're gonna go to the Mission Inn to see the lights, which I'm excited for. Today should be a good day. And to kick off the vlog, let's do my day four of my 24 days of matcha. So this is from David's Tea. It's a matcha advent calendar. So every day there's like a new flavor of matcha to try and I've actually been doing this over on my TikTok, like trying them every day. But since we're vlogging today, let's try December 4th. Oh, stop it. This, oh, I'm so excited for this one. This is blueberry matcha, which is one of my favorite matcha combinations. Whenever places have blueberry matcha, I always have to try it because it honestly tastes like cereal milk. And who doesn't love cereal milk? I do. I ended up making the rest of the packet because it said that that packet was just like one serving, so. That is a 10 out of 10 blueberry matcha. And what I love is that you don't have to add any extra sugar to it. Like this is perfect. I would spend seven dollars on this at a coffee shop. I probably have for something just just like this. Mmm, there's something like a gum matcha. That is amazing. up about the wet and wild tinted hydrators i will use these for as long as they keep them in stock they are five dollars from target and i haven't found anything that makes my skin look this like your skin but better glowy and smoothing it's amazing I always put the Kosas concealer on first and then the Rare Beauty one to brighten here and there. And again, I just blend out with my finger. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder with this Morphe brush. And I just set my under eyes. And I do a little here, here on my cheeks, right here, and then my eyelids. I don't powder like the outside of my face because that is for cream products. Contour and blush, I use a Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer, Rare Beauty Blush in Bliss. These two products are amazing. The cream bronzer is just so blendable. I've had it, I mean, not for a long time, but for a minute now, and it is just as creamy as when I got it. We're gonna take a Kabuki, Kabuki? Kabuki brush and blend this out. There's a lot of different ways that I apply cream blush, but recently the easiest one has just been to go right in, just blend it out. This Charlotte Silvery bronzer is amazing and worth the splurge. I have it in medium and it's the perfect shade. We'll do Kylie blush to set the cream blush. Now we need some eyebrows. June is just being the perfect little background character. Maybe she's the main character actually. All about her. I mean, she's an only child, so it really is all about her. <laughs> My all time favorite mascara is from Ilia, the Limitless Lash Mascara. Dior Luminizer. Be careful, cause it breaks easily. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Not sure I've shared this product with you guys before, but this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Topaz. I swear it's an exact dupe for the Fenty Gloss. It's like the main one. Looks like it, feels like it, smells like it. Literally has the same applicator. Oh wow. That's our makeup look. Quite a big revolve haul for you guys a bunch of things to wear to holiday parties or style for the winter time and i just picked out all my favorite things on the site so 
let's begin. I got some shoes and I fell in love with these on the site, so I need to see them in person. Aren't these just the cutest little heels ever? Wow, wow, wow. This little button up is super down and revolve. Another little button up, this is Tularosa. Can you guys tell that I love button ups and cardigans for winter? But I need to just like a plain, everyday, throw it on cardigan. especially like crop but still really flowy and oversized this one is the brand more to come which I think is a new on revolve I'm not sure but it's a more affordable brand but still great quality we have another button up I love tops like this because it's a very simple top but it adds a little bit of fun and a little bit of flair on the wrists and this is the brand all the ways Also the brand All The Ways and I really like this top because obviously it's just like a simple black long sleeve but it has a little mock neck right here and kind of goes up right in the middle so I don't know. It's simple but different. This one's also from the brand All The Ways and I think I should have gotten in a smaller size. I did get it in a small but it just seems really big in this area. I love the little tie tops like this. Again, I like the long sleeve. This just feels weird. Like it feels like it needs to be like here. Maybe I can get it like altered or something, but still really cute. I love this top. I just feel like it, like the fabric and how it hugs your body just looks so flattering. It looks so nice, and I love that it's not like super cropped. This is also all the ways. I think I really like that brand. <laughs> I have like two really cute holiday party tops, and I think they'd be really cute with jeans or like business pants or flowy pants. This one is from Super Down, and it's kind of like this wrap top. It has like an open back. Ooh, I love this and I love the color. This top is also super down. I love cork. <laughs> I love a good corset, especially this one because it has cute little details right here and it has um, like kind of like a mesh overlay on it. So cute. I know what you're thinking, Lindsay, it's cold outside. I'm not going to a holiday party in a tube top. I get it, but that's why we have little jackets like this. So I don't know if these really go together. I mean, they totally could if you want. This is the brand More To Come. Oh, this jacket is the cutest ever. I think I might wear this tonight to go see the lights. You know, just throw a little jacket on over. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. I used to have like a teddy coat like this and I don't know what happened to it. But this one's like, this one's like Emma Chamberlain now. Like sophisticated, but still authentic to yourself. Okay, light. This is actually the last button up that I have. But this one's kind of like fancier. I mean, it could be dressed up or dressed down, but I imagine this is with like a really cute business pant for a holiday party. They also have a matching um, bottom with this as well, like flowy pants, but I just really liked the top and how like shimmery it was. We have a cute set and it's very flowy pants. It's like a lounge set. This I can like wear every single day. This is such a me outfit. You can throw on a little jacket and like you're out the door. So this one's also a set, but you do buy these pieces separately. This is such a nice comfy material, great sweater material. And then these are kind of like ribbed leggings and they have pockets. Mom? Love pockets. Mom loves pockets. For a colder day, the Uggs with this, mom? Like, oh, so super cute. 
so super cute. This is what I imagine like girls on Pinterest wearing like look at the cup of coffee. This with their Ugg slippers. Like I could wear this to Alfred's. So this is what we're gonna wear to see the lights. We got the jacket with the black long sleeve on. I have this little bag from Princess Polly and then I'm borrowing my mom's black boots. I know like the key to staying warm is to keep like your core warm, but this shirt is just too cute. So what are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> We just got to Mission Inn. Ethan's here too. And we're meeting up with my mom, dad, my brother, his girlfriend Demi, and her daughter Emma. I think we're gonna get something to eat and then look at some lights. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is it good? It's not vegan. Nope. It's definitely, definitely not, not vegan. <laughs> oh my god, you're really good at this. I'm, I'm doing it underwater. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> it's so hard to keep track of What just happened? Mm -hmm. 